You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 332nd episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, mm -hmm. how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. Hello, Mike. And we got the masters in the house mm -hmm. for this episode. Excited. I can't wait to bring the, the masters in. Mm -hmm. We're talking about how to build a master brand. Ah. All right, so mm -hmm. stick around. Yes. Hey, if you want to build a master brand, mm -hmm. these masters can tell you how to do just that. Okay, they'll be with us in just a moment. They know everything there is to know about it. They know everything because Every they've been thing. through yeah, everything. <laughs> All right, <laughs> they're going to share it. So, mm -hmm. hey, it's great to have you here as well. Hey, Welcome to uh, Potty Talk Live. And hey, if you're part of the live social audience, let us know. Mm -hmm. Type live in the comments. Miss Anne Marie has already already said uh, type in live. Okay, Everybody knows what to do. Type live. Let us know you're here with us. Hey, if you caught the replay, mm -hmm. let us know you caught the replay. Replay. Please type replay in the comments. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Just keep on oh, listening. listening. All right. Kathy Copeland. Hey, hey, everybody. Jack's Plumbing, I saw um, a little bit ago. All right. Hello. Mr. Copeland Welcome is live. Alex, Alex Alexander, is. good to see you, brother. All right. Hey, All right, Cleve. Cleve from Down Under. All right. Welcome, man. Nice to Welcome, have you. mate. Good to have you here. Our mate from Down Under. All right. Babe's <laughs> live. All right. Babes. The babes Mr. Are Jordan. Headed. All right, Joe's live, live, so, live. Good to have you here. Hey, I'm really looking forward. I love these okay, with, when we have the masters hey, in. Yes. Because it's fun. I mean, you get real. I mean, I mean, we they're, have the real answers, but <laughs> <laughs> theirs are a little but, bit more fresh. But, right. It, you know, who's, <laughs> who's that? Who's that ball? guy? The million dollar. <laughs> Sucker, whatever. <laughs> million dollar Yahoo. Yeah. Hey, Tanner. <laughs> These guys are the real deal, okay? They're still and, fresh in the fire. Right, and so. yeah, they're in the fire, mm -hmm. getting it done daily. Mm -hmm. All right, no excuses. So, mm -hmm. hey. And what constitutes a master? I guess we should explain that. Well, these guys have um, been through the Success Academy, mm -hmm. and uh, they've also they've also received private coaching. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are uh, uh, they are million all dollar plumber. million dollar plumber. Plumbers? I mean, plumbers literally. Their their companies are million dollar plumbing businesses and beyond. Mm -hmm. Multi trucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, starting from we you know, starting with one truck. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, I mean, they've, they've gone through it. Yes, they have. Okay, and mm -hmm. are getting it done and so beyond. Makes, right, so that makes them a master. And I they've mean, been, they went through the MDP system at least a year. Yes. Yes. Okay. So. Well, mm -hmm. like, well, they're all hey, good, but we I'm just found Johnny. out that Tyler, he's, he's our yes. baby. He's <laughs> always... The guy's like taller than I am, but he's only like 27. Mm -hmm. Guys, there's no excuse. I mean, there's, there's no not. excuse. Okay. <laughs> he, just found, he has eight trucks now. Hey, Bobby. You know? Um, he does. I mean, doing service and mm -hmm. getting, it getting it done. I mean, all these guys are good. I mean, yeah. I just I don't mean to, but just. But they're old. Right. They're old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just kidding, guys. Uh, all right. Bobby, Bobby good to have you. Bobby, a cup. All right. So, okay. I know. Bobby is coming. And bobbleheads, too. Bob, Bob, bobbleheads are coming. <laughs> did you? Did you Stush. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to do. I'm not kidding. They get these fun bobbleheads. <laughs> and I, I had picked out the perfect bobblehead for the lovely Laura. But it wouldn't be appropriate. It's not happening. So, but I like to get one for our bedroom. Oh, it's kind of let's keep it clean. This is a family show. This is a family hey, show. Hey, April, um, joining us yes, live. Good to have you here. Yeah. So, what are we talking about tonight with our master? Well, building a master brand. But hey, question. Yes. On oh, we do that. have a question. For a question everybody. for you. Mm -hmm. We got the question, Shelby. Mm -hmm. and we bring up how many plumbing companies are in your area? Hmm. Approximately. Okay. Yeah. You know, just round up, mm -hmm. round down, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Don't have to know exactly, mm -hmm. but uh, how many plumbing companies are in your area? Okay. Good question. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about that a little bit because we're, we're going to talk about know, the reason we're, why we're asking that. Right. Well, you know, there's so many, we hear it all the time. That's one of the excuses. There's so many competition. There's so all these plumbing, yeah, so much competition and all these plumbing companies. <laughs> <laughs> of course there are. Okay. So how do you stand out? Mm-hmm. How do you stand out? How do you bland? How do you brand and not bland? And not bland. As Dan Antonelli, okay. Antonelli says. Branding is of kick, yeah. Kick yeah. creative, right? Mm -hmm. um, one point one million. That had to come from Aaron. <laughs> 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 right. <Golly. laughs> one point one million. All too right. Many, I was, Alex too many. Says. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> one point one million. I don't think there is one point. I think you you're know? wrong. Hey, um, as we get, to, you know, Indianapolis was a pretty saturated market, but I know we've got um, right. every market saturated. On. Yeah. Okay. Um, at least thir- wow. Right. Anne-Marie. If you look at it, and, you know, okay, Amrain says at least thirty. Okay. That's and they're a small, small town. Uh, Mankato? Mankato. 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 Right. Relatively small. Right. So, but that's that's a lot. Uh, and, um, you know, live from Okinawa. Wow. We Matthew, welcome, man. Wow, that's um, a, and this is, I think, our first time of having someone from Japan. Yeah, it's been... Really? I think so. I think yep. so. That's, that's okay. pretty exciting. Scott says around 50 to 75. 50 to 75. You know, that's, you know... Kind of average. Right. Yeah. We had, we had um, Ron, who's one of our masters, is on tonight, is from the my same market. Mm-hmm. Indy had over 100 mm-hmm. when I counted, you know, just the... Yeah. And that, you know, that doesn't include all the... <laughs> the uh, handyman and that kind right. of stuff. <laughs> Ashley Tanner, three C-5 to five. five service. Very small market. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so, but not see. one specializes in service, and not one that has a decent brand. Exactly. Okay, Anne's leading right, right uh-huh. heading that Bay way. Plumbing. You know, how do you stand out? Mm-hmm. You know, this is this is the phone book. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> most of these people don't even know what phone books are anymore. This, anymore is the, this is the phone book. This is where everybody finds plumbers people. near me. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they come up and mm-hmm. and they you know. Mm-hmm. They're, they're drawn to you in a certain way. So this, you know, branding has a lot to do with it. It has a lot you know? to do with it. And yep. branding's not just how you look, but it's the experience you provide. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, you can have and, a great and brand and, and then you show up and you're crap. You don't have yet crappy uniforms or right. you don't provide value. Right. Um, At least see. 30 in Katy, yeah. where outside we are outside Houston. Houston. Yeah, Katy. Oh, yeah. Hundreds Houston's more in Houston. Huge. Right. Huge market. So You know, but you can't use that. You know, use it as, an excuse. as an excuse, okay? Yeah, stand out. And, mm-hmm. and branding is a way to stand out. So, um, <laughs> right. in fact, it's a big, big, it's a big way to stand it's, out. Right. Okay, <laughs> get noticed. First way. So let's talk about that. Okay. Hey, let's bring our masters in. Let's Can we bring our it. masters in? I want to get to our masters. I do too. Stop talking. I want our masters talking. Mm. <gasps> there, there we go. Mm-hmm. Look at these. Look at these good-looking guys. guys. Oh, right. <laughs> That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's go around the horn up here. Up top, we have uh, Mr. Ron Blevins. Mm-hmm. Founder and owner of Press Teen Plumbing out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Along with his better Angel. other. Angel, that's Plumbing right. Power couple. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Power. Speaking of that, um, yes. I will take one of those bobbleheads. Okay. okay. <laughs> Which one? Number one. Okay. Yeah, I'll get it just for our clients. It'll be a little. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we won't. All right. And we also have we'll with go, us. We'll go around the horn. All right. See the see you reeling me in there. All right. You guys got that. All right. All right, Mr. Tyler Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Right? Saint Laurent. Okay. <laughs> a founder and owner of 615 Plumbing out of Nashville, Tennessee. Yep. Along right. with his better other, Jess. Jess. Another plumbing right. power couple. PPC. Mm-hmm. Getting it done. Okay. And last but not least, yeah, Mr. Well. Lance Ball, founder and owner of Aspen Mountain Plumbing <laughs> out of... Rock Springs. Rock Springs. There we Wyoming. go. Rock Springs, Wyoming. Not Jackson Hole. Not I know. Jackson I, know. I want to say Jackson. We know better. <laughs> right, 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 we know right. better. <laughs> Along with his better other, Kelly Ball. My right. favorite ball. Yep. Another, PPC, Another PPC plumbing power couple. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, great to have you guys on board here. Yeah, super excited, All right. guys. Appreciate you taking the time. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for having us. Hey, want to talk a little bit of brand? Mm-hmm. Want to talk yeah. branding or blanding? <laughs> Who right. used to bland before Who, you branded? Let's see. What was, uh, that what would was be your, me. Here we go. <laughs> what was your idea of I brand? Mean, we had the white trucks with the red on it. I mean, it mm-hmm. was horrible. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it I was. Mean, it was even hard for us to say the name. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because it was Flow Pro. Yes, Flow. Yes. It was Flow a completely Pro. Completely different name. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes, yeah. that's right. So, um, pristine plumbing. Now, um, you didn't mm-hmm. used to be pristine. It was Flow Pro, plumbing. Right? Plumbing and drains. And yes. drains. Right. And, yeah. And, totally yes. changed it. And why did why did you change? Um, well, one, hearing myself answer the phone, <laughs> it was really like a tongue twister. Flow, flow, plumbing. Flow, flow, plumbing. I think it's hard to say. <laughs> flow, flow, plumbing. Well, it, it is, is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Flow, flow, plumbing. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and then we met it. you guys and we're like, we got to change everything. And we're mm-hmm. like, Oh, what's for, <laughs> oh, so peer okay. pressure. It or, was probably, uh, the best, <laughs> probably the best decision we ever made, though. Mm-hmm. So, definitely. Well, I mean, it feels better. Prestine, we get in that part of the brand. Mm-hmm. Your name is, is something that relates to your community. Mm-hmm. That's easy. Sure. 
easy to remember. And it speaks to the value that yeah. they provide too. Right, so. mm -hmm. which we get into uh, both uh, Tyler and um, Lance mm -hmm. have great community representative names like mm -hmm. Tyler. I mean, you can, you, I mean, you started with it. I mean, you came, yeah. what is, what, what's 615, 615 right? Plumman. Yeah. That's our local area code. Right. Um, yeah. So it screams Nashville. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, yes. You, you started out 615 from the very, very beginning. So you didn't have to go through the major name change, which is good. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, um, then Lance, mm -hmm. you know, you're yeah, Aspen, Aspen Mountain, Mountain Plumbing. Plumbing, which is what's Aspen so it's Mountain? It's a mountain South of town. South right. of our town, yeah, local right. little, train, little landmark, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And even, even your colors mm -hmm. are down to, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I mean, that's uh, what is it, University of Wyoming, state color. Or, right? Yeah, University of Wyoming, that's their state, the, the state college, our only state college, right? In colors and kind of your sports and what people are attracted to, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, so people really have an emotional, it, it has an emotional response, mm -hmm. connectivity, mm -hmm. yep. you know. In fact, let's show. Um, the brands. Let's start with uh, Lance's. Um, Shelby, can we pull uh, Aspen Mountain? We, do we have a picture of his truck? I believe we do. He has trucks, but I think mm -hmm. there's one truck. There we go. There Check is. that out. Look at that. Look at that truck. Oh, man, that's nice. You know? Aspen Mountain Plumbing. And Lance, kind of narrate a little bit about the truck because there's so many little pieces to that. Yeah, so this is way different. Um, it's got the utility look. It's really high. Um, it's the only one that looks like this in the entire county. Hmm. Um, so when we come down the road, it really stands out. The yellow on the front really sticks out like a sore thumb. But <laughs> you wouldn't believe the amount of people that I run into, and they're just, oh, man, we just love those trucks. We just love your brand. We love that brown and gold. It just screams Wyoming. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what we were going for. And, okay, and the leaf, I mean, talk, the, the leaf is the Aspen Mountain. That's the, Aspen that's, so we call that the gold leaf. Yeah, that's uh, the, the Aspen trees have a gold leaf every, every fall, gold, red, mm -hmm. and orange. Um, and that is in the shape of the leaf. Which is what, so, yeah, Aspen Mountain leaf is that shape, but, it, it's, that to, tree, but it's like yeah. a water droplet. Right. I mean, look how it ties. Yeah, it's a water droplet with a wrench. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, they did a really good job. And we actually didn't go with uh, uh, Dan on this one. We mm -hmm. went with a Prolific. Prolific. Yep. And they um, did a but they knocked it out of the job. park. Oh, they, they did totally a great did. job. Yeah. It's one of our faves. Even the, uh, you got the yeah. mountains there in the background, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. I mean, it's just a beautiful looking truck. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that definitely stands, stands out, out amongst the competition. Mm -hmm. Feels yeah, good. definitely. So, Lance, um, what was it like going from, and I know we don't have your before picture. Um, Shelby, if no. you can find it, that'd be great. Um, but <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Poor Shelby. Through all this good stuff luck. Happening. I tried hiding it. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Shelby. <laughs> it's the internet. It's out there, Lance. It's out there somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure um, it is somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like going from what you went from before, you know, pretty much, you know, your basic truck to, to that? What was it like? What was the process like? And uh, what was the emotions? Man, it was a freaking lot of work. <laughs> uh, just trying oh. to pick out the logo. It took us like three weeks just trying to figure out which logo we liked the best. Mm. Um, I knew I wanted it to stand on its own where you could put it on a hat and people would recognize it. Um, but I leaf. didn't know exactly what I was looking for. Um, and it took, uh, I don't know. We I think we ended up calling you guys because we were just like frustrated because we were fighting about what what we was going to have and <laughs> what we wasn't going to have. And mm -hmm. it, I think we ended up calling you guys to settle the waters a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of marriage but, counseling. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but it was a lot of work um, trying to get it all all worked out, get that that wrap done, um, and then trying to just get our first truck on the road was just a nightmare. Mm -hmm. But once we got on the road, people were oh man we see your trucks everywhere we had one truck we see your trucks everywhere <laughs> that's the you guys must have a ton of trucks and it was just it was standing out I love more that. Mm -hmm. and what was it what was the reaction um for your your crew i mean you know you you have a fairly small crew too when you back when you made the change tanner i can oh think man of, right tanner, tanner was the guy with the first truck and he was just like in love with it and, and now that's like a big attraction to the to the guys the, the newest guy we hired uh ricky he just that's he saw our trucks everywhere and then he's like i want to work for that company that's awesome that's right I, and shelby i think has yeah. a picture shelby go ahead and bring if it's um yeah throw it up Man, that's embarrassing. go ahead and throw it up no, that, there it is <laughs> see now that's not bad nice. right i mean that's what we no. think when, when we start i mean look that's really clean mm -hmm. uh, we talk about you know it's legible um it makes yeah. sense there's pipes there 
you know, in a shape in the house. Though. Kind of looks like. <laughs> well, it's not. I mean, <laughs> it's what you think. Uh, wow. But we, I've but we, we all kind of start, you know, I'm there. So yeah. And I mean, that's really clean. I mean, I like that uh, you didn't list everything under the sun that you do. Right. That's a big mistake. A lot of mm-hmm. us do starting out yeah. is we list every plumbing procedure. <laughs> You know, including washing the cat or whatever, you know. Truck is. <laughs> you know. But. Okay, but you guys, and Lance, I know, it's not embarrassing because it shows how far you've come, right? right. It shows how, right. I mean. Richard. And the competition is lucky to drive, mm-hmm. I mean, may not even drive in something that nice. And yeah. our customers judge a book by its cover. Yes. So mm-hmm. now we switch to the new. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Wow. It, that, that, wow, wow, wow. That just reeks security. So, yeah, and, and thank you, Lance, too, for being transparent, admitting that that, Thanks, Shelby. that the the process was difficult. It was emotional, and it should be. I mean, because mm-hmm. you're trying to get you into this into this brand, right? Something that you well, and you, you got to support that brand. Right. I mean, that's that's right. going to be your name, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So you got to really back it, and it's important to to take the time with it. Mm-hmm. So that's right. good. Speaking of you and kind of neat, Ty, I'm going to pick on you. Not pick on you, but I want to. <laughs> no, I want to. Show, I want to show you off. <laughs> let's let's look at. This is Nashville, Tennessee. Six one five. Six one five. And Shelby is looking for the and, former six one five truck. Yeah, and, and, I don't even know. If and that's Tyler's out there. a great example it. of his was unique. I mean, he had a great. Um, was pretty sharp in coming up with something. You know, when we talk about the brand of capturing a local emotion, six one five does that. Mm-hmm. It's intuitive. Okay, it's different than just it's saying, you know, Nashville. you know, Ty's Plumbing, you know, right. whatever. Okay. Um, also, your logo was pretty clean. You had someone do it. It was pretty clean. Your mm-hmm. truck looked pretty clean. Oh, yeah. I hope we can find that. Simple. Yeah. But let's go, uh, Shelby, whatever one you do have. Go, yeah, show whatever you got, Shelby. And she's, she's feverishly, look, she's earning we throw, her money tonight. We're making a reaction. She is. Look yes. at that. <laughs> That's his trucks. Oh, Eight of his trucks are, I mean... Mm-hmm. Are, are there okay notice that the 615 the icon there is in the shape of a pick guitar pick you know it's, it's, it's music city right and yeah. we lived in nashville mm-hmm. back in the i mean and so um we know it's the competition mm-hmm. and um we we know the vibe mm-hmm. and this is nashville i mean this, this feels this is home I mean, a little doogie there's playing mm-hmm. the uh you know electric l- l- wrench electric wrench there <laughs> you know that's awesome <laughs> and it's just yeah, fun i mean signs, <laughs> look at that is broadway signs that's what i wanted it to look like uh, that, that, yeah yep, that, broad, broadway. that broadway sign uh, yeah. right on down on yep. broadway i know what you're talking about mm-hmm you yeah, know that looks great and that that look that they have down on the broadway where all the, the music is mm-hmm. and that is just sharp you know the colors are different look at that mm-hmm. i mean that stands out right amongst all the other competition even i work for and ty knows this I've, i worked for one of his competitors mm-hmm. uh way back in the day when i was there doing music yeah that, that kind of stuff Richard. and what <laughs> We don't have competition. <laughs> okay, no, you, I love that. You're right. You don't have competition. Bring them that back. exactly. <laughs> when we're talking about, we ask the question, how many you know um, plumbing uh, other plumbing companies are in town? We tend to look at that as competition. You don't have competition. Mm-mm. You got to look at it. You don't have, don't have competition. Mm-mm. You know. Yes. Yeah, All right. Especially yeah, when you're, get, you're branded yeah, like that. Ty, how many trucks are like that in Nashville? Nash- Nashville is a pretty big market. Yeah. So. Or like mine. Or the that are like branded right. out like that. Uh. A handful yeah a handful yeah I would not think a so. lot mm-hmm. and you, it, it's really easy to stand out in my market do you get recognized I, I feel like it is. yeah oh yeah oh yeah i mean the reason that i came up with that brand and that we went with that um i think it's really important to know your customer base and know the customers that you're trying to reach and for me it was families um i have a family um i actually you know kind of worked with my three-year-old daughter and she's the one who picked out the dog. Um, and so I say that story all the time, but, but I really, I, I went to her and I was like, which one's your favorite? And she's like, I want the dog. And so that's the one we went with. Um, but I, you know, I just imagine little, little plushies that I get to hand out at fairs mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and just, that was, that was the kind of market that I was, I was wanting. So that's why we went with that. Mm-hmm. Right Smart. on. You Part of the avatar. community. Knew who you're going after. Yeah. Yep. You knew who Miss, your Mrs. Jones was. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it definitely. works. Definitely. We love it. Oh yeah. Yes. What do What do your um, techs think about the trucks? Oh, they love them. Um, I mean, they just like working for for a place that actually feels secure. 
and I think that any sort of brand, um, whether you go with mm-hmm. something more cartoonish like I did, or just go with something more structured, it's really just it's really just the the security of having wrap trucks and a good logo and a good design and something that appeals to the eye. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's it's attracting. It, it just is. Mm-hmm. What do you call them, baby? Dude magnets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're dude magnets. Dude magnets. Yeah, you know? and my you... colors work out in Christmas. That's my time of year. That's yes. right. I got the greens. I got the reds. All I needed some lights. <laughs> <laughs> There's a method to his madness. Yeah, there is. <laughs> uh, Shelby, did you find the old truck? I don't, and I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if you found it or not. If so, um, it's, ex- it's because it's still hidden on my because Google it was clean. Somewhere. Even the logo. Even mm-hmm. if you find with yeah, you know. wasn't it red and gray? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Red and gray and black. We were black tees, which is yeah. like we thought looked cool. Yeah. But Only, I mean, go and show the logo. That's one of those things that it, it's so easy to make a mistake on in the beginning is is going based off something that you think looks cool. A lot of the times, it's <laughs> the opposite of what your your customer base thinks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're that, not your customer base. That was a nugget Repeat of gold that. there. <laughs> that was a huge nugget yeah, of gold right there. That Repeat huge. that, Ty. <laughs> yeah, just that you're not your customer base. So you've got to you've got to make sure that when you brand, you brand based on who your customer is. And it's not always what you think looks cool. Mm-hmm. It could be something that you don't even like. You've got to kind of step outside of it and think of what's best for you, your guys, your brand. Mm-hmm. And and like I said, even if it means it's not something you like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ty, yeah. that's good because you said you knew that you wanted to go after families. And so what was it going to attract yeah. families? Right. And I think Lance, you could probably say, I know that I wanted to really stand out in my community. I wanted to be the community plumber for Rock Springs, Wyoming. Right. So and and all the things that you're doing, Lance, since then, you know, being on the local radio and being a community leader and all those things, your brand just screams to that. Where ties yours absolutely does scream to family. Right. And, you know, we're going to serve your your whole family. So love it. Love that, guys. Mm -hmm. Then we get to Ron. And Prestine Plumbing. Prestine. And right. Shelby, his before. Hopefully, Shelby, you, you heard it was a flow, flow pro. P- that is horrible. Mm-hmm. Flow, flow, flow pro. Flow plumbing. Plumbing. So if you can find Answer it. the phone real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, but was, I, wait, was that I, your idea or, or Angel's flow pro? Um, it was both of ours. Okay. Um, but... I can say I lean towards flow pro mm. and then I realized I couldn't say it and I wanted to take it back. And she was like, no, it's too late now. So, <laughs> so. It was your idea. <laughs> so. well, what was I your do think? have a question for um, Richard and Laura. Uh, so my uh, question is, what is the difference in Nashville to Indianapolis? Mm, like, size-wise? is there more competition in Nashville or more in Indianapolis? No. Are they the very, they're almost very sister similar. cities. Yeah. Okay. Very, very yeah. similar. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, if you did, you know, market research and studies, I mean, that kind of stuff, it's in which I did. I mean, it was uh, Nashville was very close. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Indian in Nashville very close. Columbus, Ohio is another. Since you're thinking, Nashville may have a, a, a bigger downtown than Indy. Yeah. yeah. I think. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, ours is a really centralized. If y'all's yeah. isn't our, cost our of living and that kind of stuff. Thirty miles. Yeah. <laughs> very yeah. similar. You know. Yeah, and you've got, you've got yeah. um, okay. you know, sorry, 465 that goes around, but right. you've got the nicer <laughs> suburbs, which I'm going to assume most of your clients are you know, in the, sure. the suburbs close to, to Nashville as well. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was just curious. Mm. And uh, Tyler and Lance, man, you guys are rocking it. I mean, mm-hmm. your guys' trucks look phenomenal. They do look phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. They do. Mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I think but we, we had some coaches that really push us, push <laughs> us the right way. You know, <laughs> Thank uh, you for yeah. that. <laughs> Just a little yeah. bit. So, well, I, I, I we love the right track. So, well, we love the the the, the pink Prestine. Yes, Can you share a little bit how you came it. up with the name? I mean, that you know, Lance kind of <laughs> said, you know, it was an emotional thing, mm-hmm. and you decided sure. to make the name change. And Prestine. what was the kind of the thought process? Sure. So, um, transparent here. Okay, mm-hmm. um, we started with kick charge and the name and the switch and everything, mm-hmm. and we wanted pink. I mean, that's what we wanted. Yes. Well, they came, <laughs> kick charge came back and said, I don't think it's going to work. You know, fully transparent. I was like, ah, yeah. So they, they sent us some samples and I was like, yeah, let's just do that one because that's who I am. And of course, Angel's like, no, 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 no. 
Oh, don't so after 15, <laughs> after 15, 20 years, I think it was probably time for me to listen to her. Yeah. So I was listening and she was like, that's not what I want. It's not what I want. But they kept saying that it needs to be a different color because Pristine doesn't go. So finally we, pin we pinpointed on what we wanted mm -hmm. and we got it. And I mean, I can't say enough mm -hmm. about the people that call just because of our pink trucks. Love that. Let's see, and Shelby. We were, we were going for, and this is Angel's idea again. Mm -hmm. We were going for a win because mm -hmm. a lot of times women are the ones that are dealt with dealing the situation. Yes. Because mm -hmm. most of the men are at work. Mm -hmm. So that was our thought process in doing that. Mm -hmm. And it makes. So makes total sense and also Talk i think we can say um one of your uh, like we just talked about what lance's you know focus was and what ties was yours was definitely um quality service like you wanted to be premier mm -hmm. right yes top shelf yes. premier service and i mean that's what the, the pink yes. and black says and, and all the way down to the uniforms mm -hmm. tucked in if our guys come in and they're they don't have a uniform one they go back home mm -hmm. They switch, it has to be tucked in. And here's one thing of my pet peeve that mm -hmm. I have really grained that I won't accept anything less mm -hmm. is their trucks must be clean because that's mm -hmm. part of being pristine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. that's false advertisement if you advertise that mm -hmm. and you don't go all the way with it. Absolutely. So. There we go. So mm -hmm. that's part of your, that leads, that's, that's a great transition. Mm -hmm. Too. Um, mm -hmm. Ron, into the the whole thing of the brand. In fact, oh, there's there we go. Flow, Pro. Flow Pro. Nope, that's not ours. You know what? That isn't yours. Ours. Right. Nope. <laughs> it's <laughs> right. awful. But <laughs> <laughs> we can use that as an example. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's equal. What color was yours? Red, white, and blue. Yes. Yeah. But it was more white. It was just. Yeah. Try again, Shelby. Yeah. <laughs> and that and that's the thing. A lot that's of okay, those guys, Shelby. you know, we yeah, go to that red, white, and back. blue. A lot of the trucks are blue, so all that blends yes. in. And you notice yeah. all these have different colors. And you would think, well, I wouldn't choose that color combination, mm -hmm. or I wouldn't. But the point is, to be able to stand out from all the, you know, the noise, the, the noise, the, the, the visual noise that's mm -hmm. there. That you know, that our, the customer is making a decision within the mind of the customer. Mm -hmm. And when they see your truck, within a split second, is saying. You know, what is that? You know, is that worth my time to memorize, mm -hmm. you know, put it in Am here? Am I attracted to it? Right. Am yeah. I attracted to it? All that within a split second. Right. And, you know? and for Ron and Angel, I mean, you guys really had to stick to your guns on the pink and black. Like you, you told a fairly nice story. We, we know the backstory to all of it. Mm -hmm. um, Dan, Dan Antonelli, and I don't know if he's watching tonight, yeah. but he wasn't all about it. But now he says it's one of his favorite designs. One of his favorites. Right. Um, well, and, it, and also let me say this. Mm -hmm. um, after we because part of it is we couldn't tell him exactly what we wanted and after we got on the same page they are just great to work with oh absolutely so, they always are yeah absolutely 100%. He, he didn't he hadn't ca caught the vision and angel knew exactly mm -hmm. what she wanted yes she was absolutely 100 yes. crystal clear mm -hmm. on the exact shade of pink that she wanted yeah. so and yeah. then he even got it down to the bubbles in the on the background right. on the truck too so i know those listening on the podcast right now i can't see any of that you have to go out and check out the <laughs> the actual video, but yeah, the bubbles in the back, love it. And we were a fan of that. We were pushing that when they mentioned pink, mm -hmm. because we're in that market. Right. I mean, we're, and we know that that, familiar. Mm -hmm. the opportunity, them being a plumbing power couple, we talk about how you're presenting your brand and that kind of a thing, mm -hmm. that it has a huge opportunity to stand out. And just like Ron, you said, yeah, mm -hmm. a majority of your customers are women that are calling and you want to right. really reach that Mm -hmm. You know, you exactly. had women, you had families. There we go. Oh, good, Shelby. Yeah. Look at those uniforms. That is clean. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Look at the clean trucks. Look at that. Hey, oh, look, that's I'm, awesome. I love that. Look at that look. And I that know. is so important. That's such an important part of the, the brand. Mm hmm. To finish and, out and I want to I want to come back. I want to we're mm -hmm. going to follow up on that part of the brand here in just a moment. Mm -hmm. But I got something for those that are watching and listening. All right, it's mm -hmm. my million dollar plumber blueprint. Mm -hmm. Okay, where well, we talk about all right all the specs that you need in place to have a successful, self sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. You were kind of hitting one. We're on one of them right now on this episode here. Okay, but there, but there's other specs that you got to have in place. All right, and I cover it in my blueprint, all right? And it's free. 
Simply type free in the comments. Mm-hmm. Or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free to grab your free copy. All right, there you go. Mm-hmm. Now you can't say I never get anything <laughs> free or I haven't won anything or whatever, okay? There we go. Okay. All right. Hey, let's bring our masters let's back bring in. Our masters back okay. In. Mm-hmm. I really want to hit on this thing. We've talking about the brand. We, a lot of times we think of brand as being you know our logo and you know how our trucks look, right? Mm-hmm. But, Ron, you let us right into it. Mm -hmm. The brand covers more than just how we look, Mm -hmm. all right? It's how we present ourselves. And I think we even alluded to it that, you know, we can lose the customer even if our truck looks good and we're saying we're a certain type and and then we show up Mm -hmm. in a different way or the experience we provide or how we look. Mm -hmm. Uh, Can you expand on that, Ron? Yeah. um, So, I mean, it doesn't happen very often, but, like, I emphasize don't park in the driveway. You know, if you walk up and you see, uh, I don't know, a newspaper, you pick it up mm-hmm. and take it to the door, just little things like that. But sometimes I've had customers come out to the truck and actually look to mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. I've had that happen before. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you just never know. Mm-hmm. We don't allow smoking in the vehicles because there is a smell there. Mm-hmm. Um, Not you that know, wouldn't be pristine. I don't mind you smoking. Right, mm-hmm. right just not in the truck. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it goes a really long way. If you say you're pristine, you got to be pristine all the way. Absolutely. Right. So, mm-hmm. How do you feel? Mm-hmm. How do you follow up with your brand, Tyler? Um, pass. There's no passing on Coffee Talk Live. <laughs> I know I, I got it. That was hilarious. Let it in so fast. I was like not even ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check my notes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, that's our time. Hey, but okay. I, yeah. but you know you have this because you got the truck, you got the guys in uniforms, mm-hmm. okay? Right. Yes. And the whole yep. idea of like your, um, you know, what's one of the things you do um, in the, the experience, you know, outside of plumbing when the guy's in the house mm-hmm. that represents your brand? Oh, I mean, I'm down with everything. Um, I mean, like, like you said, bringing the mail in, um, picking up packages, um, I also agree with keeping the clean trucks. Um, I don't know, man. You got me on the spot. And Tyler, you know what you should question. do? You should have your guys sing a song, like pull out a little guitar and. <laughs> oh yeah, That's actually, really. That good. would be great. Jingle. <laughs> A little if jingle. I trusted my guys Just could have sing. A <laughs> well, and I, I know you're on, you're big on the clean trucks, and that's the battle we always fought with our, we fight with our guys forever. Um, at, at, you know, that a boy, you know, our company. Uh, that was one we talk about having non, non-negotiables, mm-hmm. right? Because you know the non-negotiables, and one of my non-negotiables was the truck was always clean. I mean, I, the guy never saw me come unglued if they did some bonehead plumbing job. You know, something happened privately, but you know, you, you guys know this. I've told you this. But if the truck was trashed or dirty, you know, I, I became like this crazy guy. Mm-hmm. You know, because that was one of my non-negotiables because that had so much. You know, Ron, we had the same kind of thing. I know this has happened to you guys where the customer has found a reason to go out and take a look at the truck because they're mm-hmm. curious. You know, what's, mm-hmm. what's in there? And they find, you know, that's, that's when they decide to go out to get the mail. Right. Or we have one of our guys. No, no, no. You're okay. not telling this story. He's going to the bathroom in the back of the truck. And like, you know what? Because we, we, oh. we can't go oh. in the house, but he's in the bucket. <laughs> the customer oh. came and actually opened up the door, and there he's sitting on the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. man it wasn't even a number one it was yeah, like, right. no, oh. you, just, you know we did not <laughs> just oh. tell that story i didn't say who it was <laughs> so i didn't say which one of our employees he you knows you know? who it was <laughs> was it you richard <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right, so. we never would have told the story <laughs> if it was him <laughs> i'd say following up with the clean truck it would, would probably be um a stock truck um hmm. I mean, having having the ability to go into a customer's house and take care of their needs in one trip and not have to waste their time, that would probably be one of my biggest things is, is That's cool. wasted time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they don't want you there. They're not happy, especially after you give them the price. They're definitely not happy. They don't want you there. <laughs> they don't want to spend so money with the plumber. They want you in and out. Um, I mean, we had one today where, you know, a woman called us today and and she had a wedding tonight wedding party coming to her house tonight oh, a wedding gosh. venue 
and we had to get out there and we had a stock truck we had a part on our truck we were able mm. to knock it out and get mm. it taken care of and i remember back when we started um we didn't stock a truck i didn't have the money to stock a truck mm. i was going and buying the parts and 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 because i couldn't waste the money to have my truck stocked mm. um and so i think that building the brand um you know building visual branding and building cultural branding um with tr with stock trucks and just happy go getting guys is mm. is yeah, Good definitely. And, and too, Tyler, um, your Abbott, your perfect customer, your perfect um, Mrs. Jones is family, right? And so if it's a family, then kids are running in every direction, right? Oh, Their yeah. schedules are totally full. So, you, so you're right. If you can um, minimize the amount of time that they have to waste with a plumber, you're, right. you're serving families. So, And, and also, that's part of the brand. Point. Mm -hmm. yes, also, right. I want to make a point. Tyler said that... Um, he didn't want to waste money by stocking a truck. I want to say something. Mm -hmm. If you call your suppliers, they will give you, okay, a certain, they will stock your truck and it won't cost you anything. Consignment. You just have to talk to them. Consignment. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's actually an investment. So mm -hmm. just encourage everybody to do that. Yes. Yep. Uh, absolutely, Ron. That's one thing that we did. That should be a Potty Talk Live episode. Yep. Yes. Somebody write that down. Yes. Because that, yep. that is a good, it is a way to use um, the supplier's money instead but, of yours. But that, but that thing of just being able to do the job right then and not have to come and go oh, is part of the brand. Mm -hmm. And you looking, that, that's kind of down the line here, fulfilling that brand. So they pick you out because they've noticed the trucks. You look like you got your act together. Mm -hmm. People judge a book by its cover, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. And I know that's not friendly or safe or PC, <laughs> whatever the things <laughs> will work, you know. Um, it doesn't have a mask, but it's, yeah, it's a good, I'm going to wait to get that in there. Didn't I? Yeah, it's good, baby. That's, that didn't even work there, baby. But I, know, I just, I, I, I had sure a feeling it, it was coming. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we try, whatever's going on in our society. But the reality of it is people judge a book by its cover. So they, you, you want to look good. Okay. It ain't about plumbing. Customers aren't calling you out for the plumbing. They already expect mm -hmm. you to do plumbing. It's, 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 it's unlogical. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, I like how they look. Right. Okay. Then you show up looking good mm -hmm. and you can take care of them right then. Mm -hmm. That's all part of the brand. Right. That's all part of the. That's part of the experience. Of, right. Pe people remember experiences. Yep. Mm -hmm. so Lance, Lance. You, you got a lot of, I got to, I got to hit you up before we move on from here, whatever. But I mean, I, you do a lot. For the community, the community. Yes. and for your customers, mm -hmm. you know what's something that you do, a um, little nugget that um, you know that that represents your brand. Well, we we don't do the jeans, we don't do the shorts. Um, we stand out. We're we're a little different. We do khaki pants with a dark brown shirt, but we do booties. You know, we we want to show that clean appearance from start to finish. Mm -hmm. um, we we have orange spray. <laughs> that we use for cleanup mm. to where it leaves that nice scent mm -hmm. when we're done. Um, we, we, our, our thing is we're the gold leaf standard of plumbing, you know, nice. so we, we want to leave that good shiny image. Hey. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, um, we do everything we can to make it look nice and clean when we're done. And that, that stands out. We, a lot of our five star reviews says they cleaned it better than it was. Mm. Yes. Nice. So that's that's a big part, you know, make sure mm -hmm. you're clean. Mm -hmm. And what I like here, we kind of get wrapped up in what well, we're just plumbers. And so we should it's OK to wear jeans and look, uh, you know, and you're in Wyoming, which we've been through your yeah. town there. I mean, it's, you know, Wyoming people Nothing are but. tough people. <laughs> OK. And they're not so worried about foo foo. Mm -hmm. and themselves and how they're I mean, and mm -hmm. they're good looking people, but they're not they wear, wear jeans. I mean, it's you know, it's mm -hmm. cattle country and. Cowboy, cowboy right, country. right, cowboy mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Okay, um, but your customers do appreciate you. They're judging your work mm -hmm. again based on how you look. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, right. Mm -hmm. and we stand out. Absolutely. Right. Um, and two, Lance, what are some of the things you're getting recognized in your community? I, again, we mentioned that you're on do the local um, radio show, right? Yeah, we do a lot of radio. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Every station in town, I've probably been on at least once if not twice. Um, so, and we're just building we're his brand. Is, mm -hmm. Yeah. As yeah, the expert we're trying to do, trying to do little, like do it yourself helps for the, uh, the customer, uh, just to give them that little bit. 
you know that homeowners get screwed up eventually and they're going to come yeah. to you but <laughs> i mean just to just to give them you know tips mm -hmm. you know to help them out mm -hmm. then then you're becoming more than just their plumber you're becoming their friend exactly yep yeah, you're, you're a source a resource yep. right um amanda hey amanda's got a question how do you do consignment once well, is a little off topic um while they do it for one or two trucks <laughs> you find the right one they will yep. right yeah absolutely ask Mm -hmm. yep. Call them all. They want your business. Ask. Somebody we will. They want. That's right. Yeah. Well, I, you know, we're from the town, so you know, I can I can mention the suppliers, mm -hmm. and um, from and, Indianapolis. From Indianapolis, mm -hmm. and it wound up being my fourth, the fourth or fifth guy on the list. My big guy who I bought thousands of dollars, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of stuff from. Eleven billion. You know, or, said no. Mm -hmm. And I just went down that's the right. list, and it was the one. It was like my fourth or fifth. I forget where they were on the list. Who said yes? Almost mm -hmm. surprised me. Mm -hmm. Well, guess who wound up becoming my biggest supplier, mm -hmm. and wound yeah. up getting all the they, yeah. they had they had the insight. Mm -hmm. In fact, we helped create their. I think they have a program now to do it. Mm -hmm. um, they got the idea of hey, hey we'll you know we'll help you know small plumbers out this way or whatever, and, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's it's a matter of asking Amanda. Yep. And and being okay hearing a few no's. And you're in a pretty big market too. I right. So you'll find somebody okay. to do it. And mm -hmm. if you have the right system, you can basically set it up with the I, I know Service Titan, you can do it now. Yep. Yep. And so we use as well too. So and I am yep. pretty sure Amanda is switching over to Service Titan. So yep. yes. The mm -hmm. sky. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a lot to this guys. Mm -hmm. Um a lot here to branding, but before I let you go, mm -hmm. um you've given good stuff here, but if we can go around the horn here. Um, you know, share some a piece of advice mm -hmm. when it comes to branding, um, you know, to the guys and gals that are just starting to look at it or consider it. Right. We'll start with you, Ron. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, first of all, um, my experience was when I first started branding, eh, it's, it's the guy or the person that shows up at your house, the branding doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you something. If you don't have the branding first, you're not going to be able to even show up at the house. Um, but but branding isn't just your trucks. It's, it's your office. It's your uniforms. It's um, how you keep your trucks. Do you wear your booties? Do you, after you're done with the job, are you um, just as clean or if not cleaner with the cleanup? There's so many things that go into it. But mm -hmm. branding, I will say this, will grow, grow your business as fast as it, of anything. Mm -hmm. So branding is very, very important. And it's Absolutely. an investment. I mean, it's definitely an investment. It it's it's not cheap. It's not cheap to no. do it right. Right, but it but it's. I mean, you just um, have a the ROI is just off the charts. Huge. So. Mm -hmm. It's how you compete yeah. with the big guys. Mm -hmm. uh, great nuggets there, Ron. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. All right, Tyler. I gave you some time to. <laughs> I was ready for this one. To check your notes. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Let me see. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go a little bit off the wall um, with the branding. Um, visual branding, I found easy. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you can make and it's fun. Um, cultural branding is probably on the harder side. Mm -hmm. um, building a culture where your customers actually feel mm -hmm. that you care about them and your community that you care about them. Um, you know, visual branding brings customers to you. Cultural branding will keep them with you. Um, so I think that that's a valuable piece. Um, you know, okay. it's very easy to get an appealing brand and then you go out to a customer's house and you, how do I say this politely? Cause my yeah. Southern wants to go cussing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you have to do it. Yeah, have to. Halfway you know? do it. Um, halfway do it. Halfway mm -hmm. do it. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, you halfway do it, and and you don't give yourself, um, you know, you don't give that customer that experience. They're never going to call you again. Mm -hmm. Just like that. I mean, it just is. They're going to find somebody else who, who might not have a visual brand, but it treats them like you know their family. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that's important. That's, that's probably time. more important than visual branding is cultural mm -hmm. branding for mm -hmm. sure. That's good tie. Huge Wait, what did you say? Tie. Visual branding may yeah. bring them to you. The cultural branding will keep them with you. Same thing for employees. Hashtag. You build it. Yeah, yeah. You build a nice truck and you know, you're, you got tools and you've got a really nice stock truck and a brand new transit and the guy comes, but you're just a jerk to him. Mm -hmm. You're not going to keep a good tech. Mm -hmm. yeah. So 
That's good. Same lines with the customers. Uh, Whatever, it. Tyler. You're 27. Well, what do you know? What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I told you this kid is sharp. <laughs> Does Dan Antonelli <laughs> Does Dan Antonelli have your permission to use that golden nugget? That was good. Go for it, Dan. All right. Go for it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, there you go, Dan. All right, Mr. Lance. Last but not least. Golden nugget from the golden leaf. Yes. I would say keep it simple. So many times you try to overthink things, you know, and you look at my first truck, it's a prime example. I mean, it was just cluttered in the back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there wasn't a ton of words and stuff, but it was, it was hard to read. Mm -hmm. And I, <laughs> Kelly and I actually have a game now that when we go to the big city, Salt Lake, we, we look at other branding <laughs> and, and we judge it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and we go, oh man, that's just so cluttered. Or, oh man, look at all the words on that. Or but keep it simple if you look at all three of our trucks pristine uh 615 they're all really simple and clean mm -hmm. i mean you got the name you got the number you got the website and that's about it mm -hmm. there's not much more to it um so just keep it simple i mean spend the money it's worth the money but keep it simple don't mm -hmm. don't overdo it good yes Great nuggets there. Great nuggets. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, These are such great. fun episodes. See, that's that's why know. they're the masters. That's why they're masters. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Bo says Lance doesn't have gold nuggets. He, he has, has gold, gold bars. bars. <laughs> <laughs> Bo would know. Well, I think they all threw out some gold bars. Bars. Okay. That's right. <laughs> uh, good information, guys. Yeah. Hey, again, I really appreciate you guys taking the time, mm -hmm. uh, your evening here, to uh, spend time with us and to share. Mm -hmm. and and, uh, Always again. a pleasure. Yes. Have you guys back on to talk other important plumbing things, okay. plumbing business things. We'll, we'll give you we'll give you plenty of time, Ty. Pass. I'd like to buy a vow. For... <laughs> hey, but give him time though. Give him time. <laughs> my, my brain went blank. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> hey, I got. I, hey guys, there's nicely. all great information here. I, all of you had gold bars, so that's a good way of putting it. But I, I have to, see, I have to hand it to Ty. I think you had the best, the right. best gold bar. Oh, absolutely. You know that, uh, the, you know the branding, the truck may bring them in, mm -hmm. but the cultural branding uh, has them call yep. you back, mm -hmm. yep. and that is yep. so true, yeah, powerful. True. So, absolutely. All right, guys, there you go. Get them again. Thanks, appreciate guys. it. Thanks. Thank all right, you. all right, take guys, take yep. care. Thanks. Uh, oh, so fun, these guys. I love those guys. I love, I know. I'll send them I know, I may, may, may not sound very manly, but I I love those guys. I know. You know? It's, so, it's just so fun I'm to proud watch. Of them. Yep. How much of them, how much they've grown over the years. Well, I just got so. great, you know, the respect. You know, we, we, the processes are simple. The idea of branding, that you get in, you know, it, even what, what Ty said there, you know, the, the good branding, you know, the trucks and stuff will, will you know, have them call you, mm -hmm. get them in. But the cultural branding, mm -hmm is what you know makes them makes them you know call you back or whatever um that's a simple that the concept's simple mm -hmm. but it's actually do. doing it is hard to do yeah okay it, it definitely takes and, and it takes it takes focus and, and intentional right mm -hmm. and keeping at it and these guys have just kept at it and kept at it mm -hmm. and you can see the you know their million dollar plumbers their bank accounts show it mm -hmm. you know and where they're headed and what they're doing and absolutely i'm just so, so proud of them mm -hmm. you know be that uh Get to hang out with them. So. You bet. All right. All right. There we go. All right. Got anything else to add? Maybe no, I know. Well, there's a lot of branding. Branding is the key thing. And there. we cover it. Okay. And we do cover it. You're leading me that way. <laughs> All right. In the Success Academy, my Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy, mm -hmm. branding actually is one of the, one of the modules there. It, it, is. it is a big deal. Okay. Dan and, um, it's one of, of there. Dan All right. And right there. It's one of the main modules there. There's mm -hmm. 12 modules in the Success Academy. Mm -hmm. Academy. We cover everything from pricing. Creating your own flat rate pricing book, marketing, hiring, branding, okay, and uh, everything else. It's all in there for you in the Success Academy. And right now, right all right, now. this is soon going away. You can check it out for free, mm -hmm. okay, 14-day free trial. Away. So just, mm -hmm. just, check it, just check it out, mm -hmm. okay. If you're serious about growing you know, a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business like these masters were mm -hmm. and still are okay check it out you can check it out for free simply type success in the comments or go to the million dollar plumber com forward slash success and grab your free trial while it lasts while okay it lasts. there we go good okay. stuff that was fun all right yeah. i love mm -hmm. all right uh show note there's no potty talk live next week okay so. there we go mm -hmm. before we let you go as always 
You were purposely, wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye-bye. Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million-dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.